Hey guys, I got these big lithium iron phosphate cells and I got one that is uh, pretty much bad because it got way under discharged, but that's a story for another time. But I wanted to show you guys how you can use one of these uh, DC bench power supplies to actually charge batteries very accurately. And also this is not really just a plug and play kind of charger to like any battery. Um, you actually have to set the rules um, and if you set the rules wrong, you could have some uh, very bad consequences. But once you do set the rules, it's automatic and it won't overcharge uh, your batteries as long as you set the rules correctly for your chemistry of battery. So I'll just go ahead and stop the output and I'll show you how it works. And there's a lot of power supplies just like this out there that work a little bit differently but kind of similar. And I went ahead and disconnected it just in case. Before you even connect it to the battery, uh, you're going to want to start with the voltage. And you can pretty much make this anything you want uh, from basically 0 volts all the way to 30 on this particular power supply. And this is just going to depend completely on what battery you're charging. Like the specs on these batteries, the nominal voltage is 3.2 volts, cutoff voltage is 2.5, and the max voltage is 3.65 volts and on this power supply you just push in to change course or fine adjustments and also I recommend leaving it on the fine adjustments just in case like someone walks by or messes with it because if that were to go to like six volts especially if you're not around um, some bad things could definitely happen but once you set the voltage this is the highest it will allow it to go and now we can set the maximum amperage and this power supply goes all the way up to 11. It's rated at 10, but it goes to 11, which is pretty cool. The maximum amperage will just depend on what you're doing, what kind of batteries and all that stuff. For example, this battery went way below the very minimum uh, voltage for these batteries. So I didn't want to bring it back too quickly um, or it could cause more damage than there already is. So for that, I just, uh, I made it uh, 0.1 amps. And you could even go lower if you really wanted to. It would take a really long time. But I pretty much brought it up to the minimum voltage, which is uh, 2.5 volts. But now that we have it up to a much happier voltage, I'll just put it up a lot higher just for a demonstration. But now we can go ahead and connect our leads. Make sure to connect them properly. Not only here, but on your power supply as well. We can go ahead and start the output. And as you can see, the voltage has dropped lower compared to where we set it at. And that's because we're on the constant current mode and we're putting in an exact five amps because the battery is not at the target voltage yet. And currently when we're outputting, uh, this is basically the battery voltage right here, uh, minus the voltage drop through these wires. And we can actually take a look at how much voltage we're dropping. It's 3.42, 3.16. So about a 0.25 voltage drop. And the higher the amperage goes, the more of a voltage drop we're gonna get. We're still at 3.16 to 3.61. And you can see this is right around the point where the constant current will switch to constant voltage. If we go any higher up in amperage, it's a, a constant voltage mode. And now that we're at the maximum voltage, the amperage will start going down. It looks like it's fully charged at 3.65 volts on here, which is probably measured past here a little bit. And then the actual battery voltage on the battery clamps is 3.19 volts and you can even feel these cables are just slightly warm not too bad but but that's where all that extra voltage is going right through these cables and it'll just keep sending the maximum amount of amperage in order to maintain this voltage and eventually it'll just keep counting down and counting down until uh, these are both level with each other and we'll just stop the output really quick and let's go ahead and move the voltage and we'll just bring it down to three point we'll say 3.1 and as you can see we're at zero amps 
because we're above the target voltage. And do 3.2. And still putting in a little bit of amps. It's pretty close. But that, guys, is how you charge a battery with one of these uh, benchtop power supplies. And that'll work really well for pretty much any kind of rechargeable battery, uh, zero to 30 volts. I'll just hold on, turn it off real quick, disconnect it just in case. But say you want it to charge an automotive battery, uh, it's pretty much the same thing for the most part. Put it to like 14. 0.7 volts or so, you know, max out the amps and then start it up. And that is pretty neat how this works for charging because I always use this thing uh, just to like power 12 volt stuff and check the wattage. But now I have a very accurate charger for pretty much any battery where I can set the rules of how I want it to work. And again, it's your responsibility uh, to make sure you're charging stuff correctly or else you could have uh, fires or damaged batteries. But anyways, from this, I learned a lot just about charging in general. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.